Yeah, so as an example, if the Euler Cauchy equation is <coughs> uh, x square y double prime plus 0 0.6 x y prime plus 16.04 y is equal to 0 and with some uh, substitution uh, we can write the characteristic equation like this so we know that m square plus a minus 1 m mm, a minus 1 m uh, plus b this is the characteristic equation in where a is 0 0.6 so m square a minus 1 0 0.6 minus 1 is uh, 0 0.4 m n plus uh, 16.04 equal to 0 and uh, we can find the roots by the quadratic formula so it is minus b so it will be 0 0.4 plus uh, minus it will be 0 0.16 minus 4 into 16.04 divided by 2 so it will be 0 0.4 plus minus and then if you will calculate it it will be exactly minus 64 divided by 2 so 0 0.4 plus minus it will be 64 square root is 8 and then what is left is the under root minus 1 so m will be then equal to uh, so here uh, m will be then equal to uh, zero point two plus minus uh, zero point four divided by two zero point two plus minus four under root minus 1 is i so now we have these equations so com if we compare uh, this uh, with the alpha and gamma so alpha will be equal to 0 0.2 gamma will be equal to 4 okay so uh, the general solution for this equation will be a uh, x power 0 0.2 Uh, cosine of 4 log of x plus b x power 0 0.2 sine of 4 log of x. So this will be the answer. Now we just have applied uh, solve the characteristic equation and then just input the values into this equation. That will be the solution. Uh, let's solve one more problem uh, for Euler Cauchy equation application. The uh, equation is uh, x uh, square, uh, 4x square, uh, d2y over dx square plus 8x dy over dx and plus y is equal to 0. So we can make it in a, a standard form. I divide by 4. So it will be x square y double prime plus 2x uh, y prime plus 1 by 4 y is equal to 0. So uh, its uh, characteristic equation will be m square plus uh, 2 minus 1 m plus 1 by 4 is equal to 0. So m square minus plus m plus 1 by 4 is equal to 0. And now we see that this is a complete square of m plus 1 by 2. So the roots are 
uh, identical two identical roots m1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and m2 is also 1 by minus 1 by 2 therefore the solution will be when there are two identical roots the solution is in the in this form y is equal to c1 uh, x power m m1 and m are same plus c2 x power m log of x so in this way the solution will be general solution will be x power minus 1 by 2 plus c2 x power minus 1 by 2 0 0.5 log x remember that this is euler cauchy equation so you should not confuse it with the uh, homogeneous uh, linear equation with constant coefficients if it is homogeneous equation with constant coefficients its characteristic solution results into the exponential function so there would be e power e power over here and of course there will be not a log x term over here this is an euler cauchy equation the solutions are in terms of x x to the power Hmm. Uh, okay, one more problem. This time an initial value problem. Uh, for x square y double prime plus 17 y is equal to 0. Uh, y1 is equal to minus 1. Y prime 1 is equal to 1 over so uh, this is an euler cauchy equation uh, but of course there uh, but there is no y prime term over here so we divide by 4 to make it in a standard form so we can write 0 y over here just for our um, reference okay so the characteristic equation will be m square plus a minus 1 b plus m is equal to 0 so m square a is 0 so it will be m square minus m m square minus m and plus uh, 17 by 4 is equal to 0 so let's find the roots of this equation the roots of this equation are from the quadratic formula minus minus 1 minus b plus minus b square minus 4 minus uh, times a times c 17 by 4 divided by 2a 2 times 1 so it will be 1 plus minus so what is this value 1 and this one is 4 cancels this 4 so 1 minus 17 divided by 2 so 1 plus minus uh, minus 16 over 2 so it will be 0 0.5 plus minus so 16 square root is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then for minus 1 under root you can have this value so now i have this uh, equation complex conjugate so i can uh, write its general solution as a x power 0 0.5 the sine of 2 log x plus b x power 0 0.5 sine of 2 log x so since we have the uh, initial conditions known so first condition condition is y1 is equal to minus 1 so from here if i put uh, the value of uh, y as minus 1 here minus 1 
the value of x as 1 so it will be a into this term x power 0 0.5 will be 1 and uh, this term if i put the value of 1 over here log 1 is 0 so 2 times 0 is 0 cosine of 0 is 1 so it will be 1 and then from here b this will be 1 and then sine is 0 will be 0 so this term will be 0 and this term will be a and a is equal to minus 1 <clears throat> so for the second condition we know that y prime of 1 is equal to uh, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 it was uh, 1 by 2 uh, yeah it was actually a uh, minus 1 by 2 y prime is equal to minus 1 so for this we need to find the uh, integration for that so uh, now we know the value of a is equal to minus 1 so we can just put it over here to sim just simplify it and then when we simplify it we will get uh, y prime when we uh, that means uh, uh, take a derivation of that differentiate it so 0 minus 0 0.5 x power minus 0 0.5 so we will apply the product rule cosine 2 log x uh, minus x power 0 0.5 uh, minus sine 2 log of x so in, in place of a uh, we are now using the value of minus 1 and for the second term uh, we need to find the value of b so b will uh, be times now differentiation um, it will be uh, minus 0 0.5 x power minus 0 0.5 the sine of log x minus uh, x power 0 0.5 minus sine of 2 log of x and uh, from the chain rule the derivation of it, this will be also added so 2 log of x will be 2 over x and then uh, plus 0 0.5 b uh, x power minus 0 0.5 sine of 2 log of x and then the last term will be b uh, x power 0 0.5 uh, cosine of 2 log of x into 2 over x so now uh, we put these uh, values over here so you can see that it is minus 1 by 2 uh, minus 0 0.5 x is 1 and then this term will be 1 then this term is 1 and uh, this term will be 0 this term will be 2 over 1 plus 0 0.5 b and this term will be 1 sine term will be 0 plus b and then this term will be 1 uh, cosine term will be 1 this term will be 2 over 1 so now this is minus 1 by 2 this is uh, minus 0 0.5 uh, this term is 0 this term is 0 this now the only term the last one term left so it will be 2b yeah this is 0 this is 0 so 2b 2b is equal to minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 0 so from here we can find that b is equal to 0 so now we have so the final equation will be then because we know that a is equal to minus 1 b is equal to 0 the final equation will be minus x power 0 0.5 minus is 4 minus 1 uh, cosine of 2 log x